Hello, people. So today we're going to talk about, I'm going to start talking about brown butter and some of these carnivore trends and keto trends and why I'm not a fan of brown butter. And then also kind of what I think about, well, we'll get to it. As a wait for you guys to come into the chat, I just have to make sure that I actually push live and not unlisted. Because if I pushed unlisted, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm just waiting here. And it looks like it is freaking unlisted. Ah, oh, it's not unlisted. Yay. Okay. What's up, Katie? Oh, my goodness. Like, you sit and you wait for the first people to drop in. And when they don't, you're like, oh, shoot, I forgot to put unlisted. All right, let's talk about this brown butter. What's up, Becky? Yes, Claudia, you caught me live. All right, I'm going to jump right into it because people on the replay have, like, heart attack if I don't go straight to the point. Now, listen to me, people, and listen to me well. There's a lot of foolery and fluckery, but we'll get to that the second half of this live. This is also a Q&A. So for people who are just chiming in, I'm going to address this brown butter because it's such a short video. And I want to get into some juicy ass talk. And if that is confusing you, then, then I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, what's up, Barrett? Okay. A lot of people are like, why aren't you? Oh, thank you, Elena. Uh, people are like, why are you not a fan of brown butter? Because when I first hear trends happen, I'm like, wait, what? It's like when I heard about people doing um, carnivore for the first time. I'm like, but you have to do high fat. You can't do high protein. And then people are like, oh, be quiet. <laughs> and um, I was like, but, it, you know, and I had the same visceral reaction to brown butter. Just think about it. Brown butter. Y'all have so many problems with dairy. Like, people don't understand. If you take butter, for example, it's mostly fat, but what's left over is whey and casein. These are the protein solids, the milk solids of protein. And you're gonna brown it, right? So you're going to oxidize it. This is really weird because when it's browned, you're breaking it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're breaking it down. Thank you, Rhonda. And then you're going to eat that as a snack. Okay, so you already have histamine intolerance. Not all of you, but a lot of you guys are having histamine response to the protein already. Now we're going to collect just the protein that's been browned. And you guys burn it because you know when burnt stuff tastes good. And then, and you like, you see online, it's like, oh, be careful if you just cook it a little, because you put got to put it on high heat, and then you like take it down, and then it starts turning brown, and it's foaming, and then the brown bits are falling down to the bottom, and then you take that brown, right, Danielle? Then you take that brown bit, and you make it like a snack. And I'm just like, this can't be good. And the reason why I say this, okay, is because I do consultations every day. As you guys know, I've had this explosion of people trying to get in on uh, on my schedule or on the waiting list or whatever. And um, uh, I'm, I'm like talking to people and they're just doing this whole, what's up, Hope to the Max? They're doing this whole uh, brown butter trend and they're doing like the... The, 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 the latte, the fat latte with egg, and they're doing, you know, just to, all these trends. But the brown butter one, it's just like, yeah, you just don't eat the brown bits. But that's what the people are eating. That's the new jam, right? That's the new, ooh la la, so dis, dis, delicioso, as the Swedish say, they smock it yet the bra, smock it yet the got. That has become the new trend, and I want to remind you guys to be very, very careful as to not eat that brown stuff because it's oxidized, and it's the milk solids. It's the protein that you're reacting to. Thank you, Rachel. So it's not a long video. Somebody was like, why don't you do a video on why you're not a fan of brown butter? And I'll say it again. When you are cooking at a high temperature, this essentially almost making ghee, but cooking at a high temperature, this butter and you're collecting the burnt protein. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Like, you guys don't understand. 
a lot of you have cross reactivity this means that you used to eat bread and pasta and whatever uh used to do jen we're not talking about cooked meat and it's not as oxidized as the brown you, you can't compare the two it's like people are chiming in but i'll get to that comment um you also if you do if you do raw meat that you bought at the supermarket it's been hung for 20 days you could get sick from a bacterial infection so let, let's put things in context yeah okay now we're talking overcooking not just cooking hun, honey child we're overcooking the protein not just cooking it like meat we're overcooking the milk solids until they're browned and burnt and oxidized and histamine laden and then we're consuming consuming that and then we're, we're, somebody's like what if you strain out the brown bits no no the point is i'm talking about brown butter as a trend they're eating the brown part that's the part that tastes good i'm not talking about ghee right now we ain't talking about ghee we are talking about the, the milk solids that you're cooking for snack and i'm not a fan of it because just because i coach so many people who've got so many dairy intolerances it's gnarly 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 how many people have developed a uh, dairy issue from the whey and casein because they used to eat bread which the brain does not understand it stamps it's called cross reactivity um, is is uh, Janice is trying to get my attention right now the the um, when you're when you're actually let me get my brain clear here I'm just sitting there analyzing why people would keep trying to challenge me on my life but a lot of people have issues with the, the protein itself and they're dealing with histamine and I mean like I would say it's less than 5% have brown poop that sinks have no problem with their gallbladder who've got no histamine in fact maybe it's less than 5% who absolutely have no histamine responses to anything and even when they say they don't I still don't believe them because then I'll look at their face and see if they're bloated or have blood, broken blood vessels or if they've got a white tongue or anything that shows leaky gut now that's an easy subject if you're if you're suffering from leaky gut and you don't know if you have developed cross reactivity I wouldn't eat brown butter that's already collecting the protein and then burning it so not a smart idea and it's that simple it's not a complicated video I'm not going to do a whole stream about it because it's not that interesting now this you're going to address this gen person um, some people when you're doing lives is things people don't understand when they're watching the replay they don't understand how a live works because a lot of people will watch a replay and they can't see the comments thank you Claudia for donating to the super chat it's like thank you um, people who watch the, re the replays cannot see that I'm talking to a crowd of people right now when I just started to have 66 people and I'm talking to them and I learn and they learn and it's a great conversation so just for people on the replay be aware of that because I'm no longer going to talk about brown butter now, I am going to talk a little bit about cross reactivity and leaky gut right and then I want to talk about some snacks that I feel are more appropriate for people who have histamine intolerance and leaky gut who need to keep their blood sugar stable which is why we would snack at all okay so things like raw milk um, again we have the cross reactivity problem okay so you guys who are having leaky gut even if it's raw if you're doing low carb high fat just give it a little time before you start adding this because you might have a cross reactivity especially if you react poorly to wheat if you get bloated or acid reflux or feel tired from eating wheat products we just want to make sure that we don't have a cross reaction and where your body stamps dairy as the same as wheat because the body can do that now things like sour cream no no too much protein uh, sour cream cottage cheese cheese are all big no's right the casein is the problem cheese is a really big 
issue. I still am doing consultations where people are just freaking doubling down on their cheese. This is major inflammatory food, a major one. And you can watch other gurus say, well, I eat cheese. But what they don't do is talk to their audience. Thank you, Valerie. If you talk to your people, you will find out through individual after individual after individual that if they're testing their blood sugar with cheese, they'll see their blood sugar spike and a difficulty to produce viable ketones. Then we've got people who develop constipation or they're bloated or they don't feel well and they would never connect it to the cheese because sometimes over time, the gut wall begins to, the, 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 the uh, microvilli become more damaged slowly over time. And this can happen even with cheese because of cross-reactivity. Some people have issues with casein in the cheese. So if you really want to adapt on keto and carnivore and do better on low carbide fat, cut out the cheese, the cottage cheese, and the sour cream. I only recommend that people do the raw. Um, now the cream is on the edge. Cream is on the edge. I would not have cream all the time. I would have it, if it doesn't bloat you, especially if you can get it raw. I would have cream a couple times a month, right? Let's just be careful when you're trying to adapt in the beginning at least. What you can do is journal because everyone is different. Some people are fine on cream, most are not. So it's the Russian roulette, who does fine and who does not do fine. Um, now, um, a lot of people do not do well on butter if they have a histamine response. But the, the crazy thing is if you don't do a, have a histamine response, so many people do amazing on butter because of the, the micronutrient breakdown of the CLAs and the ALAs and the omega-3s and, um, and the vitamin A and vitamin E, like vitamin D, some of these things that are harder to get with other fats. So butter is very nutrient dense and it's mostly fat with a little bit of that protein left over that you guys are browning and then eating. It doesn't make any sense, especially if you have leaky gut which most of you do. Um, the, if you can get a hold of raw butter, if you're in a state, I think like Ohio and Cali and these places where you can get raw butter, best, bar none, fabulous, amazing. You know, it is a really good, really good thing. Uh, what I think I'll probably end up doing is getting some goats and having some goat uh, butter, make goat butter myself because I'm just so disappointed with the whole Carrie Gold st uh, scandal. Now I had some woman, and if you don't know what the scandal, the scandal is, there are two scandals. Number one, they're calling themselves grass fed when they're actually grain finished, right? So they should say grass fed slash grain finished. And then people really got, got upset about that because it actually says it on the package grass fed. So it's like strike one, not a good sign. Uh, then they started adding skimmed milk. Now I'm calling some BS on this. Uh, one of my followers, somebody who sent me a thing that they had written, uh, Carrie Gold, and she got a response that said, oh, we're doing it for the flavor profile. Well, then why aren't you doing it in the salted butter? Because they're only doing this, adding skim milk to the unsalted butter. And to be honest, the taste, ah, uh, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you for the, she donated fiber for the, for, uh, for babies. Something's up with this. Like, I no longer trust anything anymore. Yeah, I like to, to really make sure quadruple, double down to make sure that, or quadruple down, that something is what they say that it is. I think that you guys need to do this as, as well because of all the crazy trends. Now I want to talk about something right now because before this live stream I was watching Liver King, right? Now I didn't know what the dude looked like. I knew his name was Brian. I used to be sponsored by them by Ancestral Supplements um, which they never paid me. 
which is the reason why I stopped promoting this product. And I, I would never tell anybody that they stopped, that stopped, they never paid me because I don't like to create wars online. But now that I've seen the dude all over social media, like I didn't connect Liver King because they were calling himself Liver King and not um, Brian from Ancestral Supplements. Uh, but they've done a lot of good things, I'm not gonna lie. They've got a lot of good products, but you don't have to take six capsules a day. The reason why they do that is because you would have to have a subscription and keep buying a bottle every month and it's like they're almost 70 bucks a bottle. So when I started watching this dude, I forget his name, his channel, and he's saying, and I was watching him do a breakdown, the dude makes $100 million a year. I didn't know. Like, that's a friggin' trip. Uh, but I want to tell you, please, if you're doing ancestral supplements, please put it in the freezer and refrigerator, and you don't have to buy, you don't have to eat six capsules or something. Other than that, they have some good products. Their thymus worked really, really well with me, and their colostrum. So they have some good products. I'm not going to just slam them all, but I'd like to get paid. Because I know you guys made a chunk of that 100 mil off of me promoting you, Brian. So if you want to pay me for my, for my promoting of you, that would be great. Uh, let me know what section of Tennessee you're in. If you're close to me, I can hook you up with grass-fed raw milk and freshly. Well, I can't do raw milk because I'm doing keto. It's too much um, sugar, but I'd love to get the butter. So Jan, can you just uh, go to my email? and email me. I don't like to say my email because I don't want to, you know, I'd rather have somebody serious to go through my website, which is stephanieperson.com. I'll put it in the show notes afterwards. Um, and then I can tell you where I'm located. I don't like to say where I'm located. I can say that I'm Central Tennessee because I've just had too many weird things when I was in LA and people are showing up at my gym. Like, right? Uh, the, the colostrum and thymus were both for tried to create, to get diamine oxidase and to heal my leaking gut. That's the reason why I took them. And they did really well, FYI. So then I found Real Thymus, and I was like, well, there's no sense of buying this. Not buying this, I got it for free. No sense of getting this supplement because the Real Thymus works so much better than, hot girls are waiting here. Oh, we've got a troll. Let me get rid of this person. Hold on. I had to get rid of this gross crap that got it made it to my uh, live stream. So yeah, I would love to get the raw butter. Whoever, who was that who said that? Jan said that. Jan, yeah, hit me up, Jan. Or if you're on my Instagram, my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. You guys can hit me up in the DM there if you have any suggestions. So go to Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram. Hit me up in the DMs. I check those every day. Okay. Love raw butter. It's really, it really keeps me full in a long time. It's amazing. Raw butter is like spectacular. Just have to make sure you don't have a histamine response to it. And I hate to say this, a lot of you guys have a histamine response to butter. And like the the pork lard has become the new jam, but some of you have a histamine reaction to lard as well. And I just feel so grateful that I don't because I've been doing a restrictive from the standard American diet. I've been doing a restricted diet in comparison to that and um, I'm really glad I'm able to eat those foods and Kristen says butter makes the inside of my ears itch and that's histamine but what's really beautiful uh, uh, in regards to the clients that I'm working with you start to see that people are able to introduce back foods they can never eat and I've I've worked with the worst mast cell activation and histamine latent clients so it's been a really uh, incredible journey to learn from you guys. Thank you, Hope to the Max. Thank you for donating to the Super Chat. A lot of you guys are asking me, you know, like where I get my information from, and it's really from you guys. But I want to turn the camera around and show you guys what I was looking at. So that, oops, that's the Liver King, right? That's the dude right there. And um, that's the guy who runs Ancestral Supplements. And um, there's a lot of rumors going on that his abs are fake. Hold on. That he's that he's got him etched out because like when you're sitting 
and talking, your abs wouldn't be that uh, uh, squared. So, and it's a rumor. And then he said, see the thing about this guy, that now I'm gonna talk about this guy because this guy plays a really big role in what I've been telling you guys for a very, very long time. So this is Brian, He's the he's, he owns Ancestral Supplements where he flies private jets and um, makes 100, 100K and he never paid me. All right, let's get to it. Um, the thing that's very interesting about him is that this other dude, I forget his channel, he broke down, yeah, CC, he, this dude uh, broke down Liver King and said, you saw him, he showed at least 30 interviews where he's like, I'm totally natural. Oh, we got another troll. Um, I gotta get rid of the trolls. Sorry, I'm getting these trolls. I haven't gotten trolls in a long time. Um, I want to really get rid of this person. I gotta oh, report him. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now we've reported this. These trolls. Okay. So um, the reason why I want to talk about him real quick, and I'll get back to nutrition and all that. And the reason I want to talk about him is because he said he was natural. Now, does that man look natural? The way you know is a couple things. Number one, people who are not natural have humongous boulders. They're called boulder shoulders. That the um, anterior deltoid grows abnormally big. That's very difficult for a person to do naturally. Another thing that you want to look at people if they're on gear okay, is look at their nipples. I hate to say that's kind of gross, but their nipples get very pointy because they have so much testosterone in their system that the body tries to, to balance the hormones by raising estrogen astronomically high. And men on steroids can actually start lactating milk out of their nipples. And so they have to have the nipple ducts removed so they don't grow a thing called biatch tits okay so they remove the whole gland and so they end up being this pointy nipple yes so for y'all who don't understand how gear it's called gear right works testosterone that you're putting inside your body through your butt um they call it gear if you don't know how gear works you don't know the telltale signs that he's abnormally huge and square in his shoulders okay so that's what a bodybuilder is, is taking at this time now this is the um guy who owns ancestral supplements okay now let's talk back about gurus because i just want to show you that even his abs don't look real okay fake okay now let's let's put this here let's move this back around okay oops okay we're back this thing blown up Let's put it over here. All right, y'all, let's talk. All right, just this way. I should just turn it off. Okay. You guys, I've been doing, um, I've been online for, I don't know, since 2010, I believe. And um, I've been around talking about a ketogenic diet for a very, very long time. And at that time, there was not a lot of gurus. I was very excited. One of my heroes was Nora Gagaudis, Steve Finney and Jeff Fullick. They discovered that you can actually, athletes could use, uh, endurance athletes could use ketones um, for, for marathon athletes for ultra marathoners and marathoners and runners and swimmers and any of these people who do long, long distance um, without bonking, which is which means totally being depleted in uh, glycogen and, and glucose and you just, your muscles lock up and they go no more and you just fall over and you just can't move. And you'll see in some of these running, you know, long marathons that they're crawling to the, the finish line because like their body bonked. And they proved that if you're in ketosis, you can beat the bonking. 
you can just keep going and going and going and going and going. And so then keto started, you know, getting bigger and bigger, uh, becoming more popular underground still. But at the same time, doing a diet where you cut out your carbs and your entire life, you've been used to using um, carbs as stored energy and then switching over. It's not easy. The things that I remember people were complaining about was that the, the pump in their muscles was gone. And it was just such a weird way to quantify an imbalance of electrolytes. And that's all that that is. And so people said at that, at that time, okay, I'm going to go off because I feel like my muscles are flat when really they just needed to balance their electrolytes because clearly my muscles are not flat at all. And that's because I've learned how to balance my electrolytes. The same set of issues, and they call it the keto flu, it's the same thing for carnivore. There's just absolutely no difference. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's just learning more. Just be patient enough to learn more. And the reason why I'm showing you the video and picture uh, or the, of the liver king and talking about how gurus work is that you know, people will comment in the comment section that there's this person who's done it for a long time and they're doing amazing. And people are on, not all of them, but the majority of them, especially the men, are on some type of enhancements, okay? So if they're ripped and they're shredded and they're muscular and they're big and they're beefy. And in Liver King, who did ancestral suppl supplements, or does it, this dude said in at least 30 interviews, straight in people's faces, I am not doing gear. I'm not. And like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And he was lying and he got caught lying. And this is the reason why you, he should doing this apology video that he's confessed that he was not being honest. And, um, uh, cause people have been asking me, what do you think about liver King? And at first I was like, liver who? Cause I didn't realize that this was the owner of the company that I was actually sponsored by and um because uh, I wasn't recognizing the name and then you start watching it and you're like whoa this is mm. so women who are doing carnivore who tell you like who are doing extreme things like high protein and I'm amazing my body's amazing a lot of these people are not telling you the truth I'm sorry and I hate to burst your guys's bubble but they're not so, you know, there are some people are like, oh, well, you know, you feel a little hypoglycemic, just have some butter at your bed, you know, at night before you go to sleep. But if you have a histamine reaction to the butter, it could crash your blood sugar and drop it even lower. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I don't know why some of these gurus are not more careful. If they're stick thin, if they're super muscular, and their face does not match their body because that's a big indication. Face, especially with men, and I have to say, uh, especially men of Eurocentric descent, European descent, that if they're super jacked and they're over 50 and, you know, they're like super lean and super jacked, it's probably not 100%, I can't say for certain, but 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
people are doing raw milk people are doing kimchi i'm having clients doing kimchi and kombucha and sauerkraut you guys look you have to literally the, the advice i want to give is look at what's going on with your existing health okay do you have energy all day in my consultations this is what i typically ask and people have had a consultation with me before they'll see my fill out i go straight to the point i'll ask things like what time do you go to bed how long no 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 how many minutes does it take you to fall asleep minutes because if it takes you uh under three minutes to fall asleep this is going to be adrenal fatigue you just crash People who can sleep anywhere, standing up, these people don't sleep deep. Their body is constantly exhausted. You just got to be careful what people say. You know, it's so important that, hold on my people. It is so important that we be, take more responsibility or somebody on my uh Somebody on my Instagram as well who said was was talking about um, lymphedema and how they had to stop because the fat was giving them um, the fat was giving them lymphedema and I was like lymphedema, not lipedema. She said lymphedema. I'm pretty sure. And. Um, and she's like, oh, I saw your mother's leg, and it was really, really big, because my mom has lymphedema, like swelling of the leg. And I said, no, nah, it's because she stands too much. Like, we got in a big fight, because she was standing until 4 o'clock in the morning. I kept waking up, like, she'd go to bed. She was still up, standing. So my mom has an, a standing addiction. She hates to sit. She can stand. She can stand. My mom can fall asleep, standing, doing dishes, standing. And so her leg swells because of it. Um, you have to know what's going on and, and I was like, like, stop because I will clobber you. Like, you just better stop right now. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to come against stuff on these types of subjects. She's like, cause your mom's eating high fat. I was like, no. Yeah. 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 She's on a keto diet. I was like, no, my mom is not on a keto diet at all. That's a problem. I can't get her to go back. It's over. She will never do it again, ever. Um, but that's a whole nother story. Um, but, like, what perplexes me is that you guys need to learn about what's going on with your health. A lot of you guys are having the weirdest, like, I've, I think I've hit every subject. Like, you know, a lot of you guys are having problems with absorbing iron. And so you've just got these high levels of iron in your blood, which is super poisonous. If you follow Frank Tufano, who, who is one of the carnivore gurus, here Frank is a great example, and I like Frank actually, and he's a very smart guy, but sometimes people don't have common sense, right? They'll push something and push something and push something. They'll tell you guys that everything is fabulous, and they never put anything into context. It's not fabulous for everyone. In fact, for most people, people are struggling. And that's why I've done the real people with real talks and they're calling out some of these gurus because these people pay money and then get injured and get frustrated. And I've been doing this for so many years, like I about had all the garbage. I think what happened to me is when the charade of Rona Bona thing hit and I just heard every lie on the television that could ever be explained. Lie after lie after lie and it reminded me so much of the keto and carnivore world. You know, you guys, I got a book deal with a company called Victory Belt. There's another name that I haven't called out in years. And they had, I was so, I was just so, what is it? I was so like grateful that I was asked to, to make a Stephanie ultimate keto book. And they wanted it out so fast. And I was just felt so, I was just like, no, 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 no. Like, it's the same thing when I was skateboarding. People wanted to give me a pro model. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not good enough yet. I don't want to skateboard with my name on it. 
you know, you just have this thing like, I don't want to push something too soon. Like my gut is saying like, no. And I got this book deal and ultimately I decided I wanted out of the contract because they wanted to pump, put out like 30 keto books and they did. And they're the worst pieces of shite you would ever read. Uh, no, hell no. They didn't care. And I said, these, some of these authors are putting in material that are going to injure people. And the people at that company were pissed at me. Pissed. Still pissed. They're still talking crap about me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't think you're going to have too many other people online being as candid as I am right now. But it, it is like, after that, I was, I'm just very careful, right? So I got sponsored by Let's Get Checked because I was like, okay, this can be a useful tool, right? So if you, you check for your A1C or check your sex hormones or things of this nature, this is, a, this is aligned with what I talk about. This can work, right? This can work. But otherwise, I'm very, very careful with who I you know, do business with. And because of the ethics that go behind some of these companies, and I remember when, when, um, uh, thank you, ALH. Uh, I remember when people were promoting, and I want to tell you the story about the beta hydroxybutyrate salts. Hold on a second. So I think it was about seven years ago that the BHB salts came out. And I was the same pain in the ass as I was back then. I was back then as I am now, I mean. So the guy, so it was Dominic, Dominic D'Agostino. He was doing the cancer research. So I was just all about Dominic in the beginning because, and Peter Atia, who's not even doing keto anymore. Uh, I'm gonna hit you guys' comments in a second. And I was all about Dominic and he was, and was he on Joe Rogan? One of them was. Um, but I was about him. I mean, I still think he's done some brilliant work, but I remember hearing him in a in a um, interview saying that he was eating pasta if he goes to Italy. He's like, I'm not gonna stop eating pasta. I was just like, I found that to be so weird because why would you push keto as an anti-cancer and such a great thing to, to heal the body, but then go and eat wheat? And so many people have destroyed guts from wheat. Like it's one of the most toxic foods natural not even natural because that's right it's been selectively bred and and hybridized but um and modified but um so he these were the people in the very beginning jimmy moore who ended up being locked up because of the uh <laughs> the bicycle pedal and then uh phil I can't say the whole word. Um, uh, so all those people um, are, those are the people that were back in the day. So today, you know, so, you know, if I, if I keep going back to the, the beta hydroxybutyrate salts before I get off track, um, they were telling you that they were, ketones right the, the ketone esters and the the guy so he so dominic had the patent on this i believe if i'm wrong then you know I, i'm very sorry but i think that's correct and it was called um i think it was called something force anyway a lot of people tried these beta hydroxybutyrate salts when they first came out when the first one that he put out and they got sick on them they had like heartburn and felt nauseous and felt bad and so I had these people check their blood sugars and I'm like okay the blood sugars were spiking and then they would have then they would go check their ketones and they'd have these ketone esters in their blood and would register ketones or they would have them in your their urine which the whole urine thing is on another subject but oh yeah we got 20, 126 people in the house and only 51 likes you guys know I don't check to see who's liking but while I'm doing lives it helps bring people to, so they can actually view and see the live so you click on that where it says like if you want to make a comment you click on it and it, you click out and hit the thumbs up and then click back in um, so it'd be awesome if you guys don't mind liking up the stream 
Uh, never long enough. Thanks, Danielle. So, um, uh, then this other guy was, uh, they, they contacted me and they wanted to do, and I think his name was Brian too. They wanted to do a company, the, the biggest company that did, did the BHBs, like the next big thing. And they went on like a multi-million dollar campaign. And I was saying to the guy who was the CEO of the company, I was like, dude, these things don't work. He's like, yeah, no, no, no. You could go check your, your blood ketones and they're there. And I'm like, but if your blood sugar is high, you're not going to use the ketones. He's like, and he even, he even did a consultation with me. It's so weird. And I was like, you can't put out this product. He's like, he's like, you have to talk to my partner. So then we did like a Skype call at the time and I talked to his partner and I said, this is the reason why this product won't work. And he literally said, it's too late now. We've already paid for the campaign. You wonder why I don't trust anything today? I've been around a long time. I've watched bullshit product after bullshit dieting after bullshit and watching client injury after client injury after client injury. Do I shut up and just allow all this bullshit or do I say something? Well, I pretty much just didn't say much. I, the most obvious ones, I was like, well, fasting is just stupid. That's just modern day, you know, people starving themselves to be thin. So we know that's stupid. But um, the other ones that started popping up, um, mind you, I live in L.A. So I used to live in L.A. So I, I would know about certain people because of L.A. is a small world. It's a small world. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about Disneyland. Um, but... Then when the whole charade on a bone up popped out the last couple years, that was it. Because I can make, I could draw a parallel line between what's happening in the world and what's happening with keto because people are so desperate, or carnivore, people are so desperate to deal with their, first of all, their weight. Let's be, let's keep it real. Then people are desperate about their guts, right? And then... Um, what else? Or try to fix their autoimmunity. But it's always about weight. I don't care. I've had cancer patients worried about their weight. I'm like, don't worry about your weight. <laughs> let's let's get your blood sugar under control. So, yes, hope to the max. I agree. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, should I not be calling out people? I don't really say their names. I just say, in general, be very careful. And that that's the reason why I was talking about Liver King. That he told everybody in a million interviews... I'm totally natural. I'm not on any enhancements. And he got caught lying. And now he's exposed having to apologize in that video that I just showed. Or the picture of it. So be careful. Be very, very, very careful. Um, just be very careful, guys. You know? That's that's why each week I don't, I don't, I, I'm not going nowhere. I'm here. And I'm here to stay. So get used to it. All right, I'm going to answer some questions for those watching the replay. If you don't want to hear me answer questions, I would stop listening right now. But here we go. Because I think that a lot of people have some good, interesting questions that are very... Um... I don't know, Kelly. Kelly's like, isn't it heart and soil? I don't know. I thought it was ancestral. I keep hearing ancestral supplements. I'm still not sure. So if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm still wrong. Oh, Paul Saladino is his heart and soil. Yeah, no, so Kelly, it's not. I think Liver King is ancestral because they do really well. Like everybody buys ancestral supplements. And I think that um, um, I think that Paul Saladino is his, I've heard good uh, good things about Paul Saladino's supplements I don't know I have no idea <laughs> I'm tired of these liars anything to get money I just think it's a part of our world culture right now that nobody thinks about it and I I just I've I mean I've said and it's at least a hundred videos I'd be so rich if I just put myself in a bikini at 55 and said follow my 90 day weight loss program but it's just so disgusting. I can't. It just grosses me out. 
you're about to do another fast and start following me again, probably save a lot of my body nightmares. So, you know, for a lot of you guys who've never fasted before, the problem with fasting is this, and I'll break it down because I know I've got a lot of new people on this live. There's a lot of f fasting liar channels. And fasting becomes so popularized that people, they actually believe, some people actually believe it's good for you. The problem is, is that if you take me, for example, like, I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit as fuck. I am. Okay, been working out for a long time. I haven't touched sugar in damn near 16 years. Okay. Um, sugar, carbs, any of that. Uh, I... I'm a beast. I'm strong. Ain't nobody gonna mess with me. I'm a strong woman. Okay. For people with autoimmunity, uh, people with hypoglycemia, people with thyroid problems and insulin resistance, when they do fasting and extended fasts, at first they feel good because they feel a relief from most of the time when you're having, when you feel bad, most of the time, it's something you ate, especially if you, if you have mast cell activation. It's kind of easy. I'm working with a guy right now. He's, he's interning with me. He's awesome. But uh, he's helping. He's putting all the comments in the, um, he's putting the uh, links in my videos and stuff because I don't have time to do it myself. But um, he is freaking allergic to everything right now. And I said, all right, we're going to do an experiment. I hate this experiment, but we got to figure it out. He's got a gallbladder problem and, okay, he's like, and he has histamine. What do you do if somebody's got gallbladder and histamine? He's like, everything I eat, I react to. And I said, is it actually everything? I'm going to get to this fasting thing too. Uh, he's like, no, I think I do good on certain beef and certain pork. But no fat. Like every fat, I just, I said, okay, we're going to do olive oil. And we're going to do olive oil for three days. And we're going to do these meats. And because he was feeling really bad and then he felt good. But, and I don't like that because eating olive oil is restrictive. Um, the fasting in the beginning, if you're eating something, like let's say he fasted. And he even said this, when I'm not eating, I feel better. And there's another guy I interviewed um, that I'll probably interview again. He is literally I think he's like almost six feet tall and weighs a hundred and twenty I think hundred and twenty pounds that, that he weighs less than I do and I'm five foot three because he can't he reacts to everything some of you guys who are in this bad way when you fast because it makes you feel better for the moment everything that your body is trying to do to go into homeostasis it, it can only hold on to the edge of the, the cliff for so long and then you got to let go you start having rebound effects so one of the first things that happens is first thing your insulin drops your blood sugar drops you feel amazing all of a sudden the body's like okay we're not in ketosis you're not eating enough you're doing too much and you're not eating in these windows so the body starts going into gluconeogenesis to break down amino acids to raise the blood sugar back up which is fine body's designed to do that but not all the time every day. Because if the body's constantly cranking out cortisol, if you're trying to get rid of your mast cell activation, but because your glycogen and your glucose storages are so depleted, you start literally breaking down amino acids. It's insane the amount of cortisol that your body has to continuously um, secrete to keep your blood sugar stable because you're not eating. And now the histamine starts to rebound. Okay? This is a problem. So you have to eat less and less foods to have less of a histamine reaction. And you're not in ketosis. So we're just, it's just this negative loop. It's like you're not eating, so your body releases cortisol to break down amino acids to raise your blood sugar. But now you're having so much cortisol in your system over a couple of weeks that now you're starting to lose diamine oxidase and end methyltransferase. And these are antihistamines in the cells the mast cells. See what I'm saying? We have to be very, very, very careful with who we listen to, including myself. You don't have to believe me. I don't care at all. You can believe me, you cannot believe me, but take my words and then go research. That's all I ask. Okay. I'm not going to tell you that everything is fantastic with a, with a pink bow on top of it. 
a ribbon. I'm going to tell you, be careful. That's my whole thing is about being careful. Um, so if you're fasting, you might feel good in the beginning. Another problem with the fasting is the fact that you're going into gluconeogenesis for energy. You're not getting glycogen storage, especially those who are doing keto and carnivore. It is a nightmare to fast also on these diets because you're not in ketosis. And now we're really, your body's going to have difficulty to make ketones. Now people are like, yeah, but when I don't eat, my ketones go up. And they will go up. Not always. Sorry, I hate it. It's just like when you're living in like a cardboard box, because I'm living in an RV camper, it'll get super hot real fast, and then you turn it off and it gets super cold. So I'm like constantly flipping them on and off and on and off. Oh my goodness. I need to start using my propane and just leave it on at like 65 degrees and call it a day. Um, so... Um, the fasting, it starts weighing on your immune system because you're driving a car without enough gasoline in it. So your body's not going to go and access fat. No, we need fat. That's our emergency fuel. We're not there at an emergency yet. So let's break down amino acids, proteins, use that for energy. So people will go and weigh themselves fasting, be like, but I lost weight. And have no fucking clue. Yes, I said fucking. They have no clue that they're actually burning through muscle and their collagen under their skin. And I don't know how many clients have developed crepey skin. They're like, can I recover from this crepey skin, the dark circles under my eyes, and the strain on my kidneys? All for the obsession to weigh less on a scale. But you don't know, is it bone marrow? Is it collagen? Is it muscle? Is it actually fat that you're losing? when you weigh yourself or water, when you weigh yourself and you're like, oh my God, fasting's so amazing. I like just weigh less on a scale. Be careful guys. Thank you for your honesty stuff guys. Like up the chat at least to support her. Thank you. Thank you Hope to the max. Yeah, I don't check to see who's liking up the stream, but I just want to like teach you guys about like fasting and when you could do it. If you were having severe histamine, like here's a great reaction. When I was in LA, there was a guy who's a bodybuilder and I was like, I, I said to him and I like, he's on gear. He, he admittedly, and he smelled so bad. I was like, dude, your liver, bro, your liver, yo, you stink. Oh my God. He's like, I do. I'm like, yeah, your liver, bro. Like, be careful. You're on a lot of stuff. And so he was feeling bad one day and decided to take a probiotic. He, he was so bloated that he had sharp pains in his gut, like pain, like sharp pain. And he went to the emergency and I said, you are the person that should never take a probiotic. Your gut from gear is destroyed because you don't know it. Even HRT's women, right? Your little estrogen, progesterone cream and all this stuff, or men with your pellets or women with your pellets, this destroys your gut. It, it contributes to it. So he goes and he takes a probiotic and he's like running off to the, um, <clears throat> to the emergency room. And I was like, you should have called me and taken some activated charcoal to absorb all of that probiotic before it starts hitting the small and the large intestine but he didn't and that's exactly what a good doctor there when he went to the emergency room did and that helped but I digress you have to clear out the weeds of an overgrowth and balance it before you would add probiotics but the the, the warning that I want to say is that some people will fast because they feel bad, right? They'll they'll like they try to eat the fat and it makes them feel like garbage because their gallbladder is is sludgy, and then fasting makes your gallbladder worse. Clearly, there's just a lot of things that people don't consider when fasting. So if you're doing, if you're having, like this guy, if he had like a really bad reaction to a probiotic, he could fast for one day, take activated cor a charcoal let his gut calm down and then eat again but are you having a severe histamine reaction
then doing a 24 hour fast is, is, is okay. Like as long as you don't have severe hypoglycemia or your hair is not falling out. Everybody else, don't do it. It only needs to do, you only need to do a 24 hour fast if you're really going through some kind of an emergency crisis. Otherwise, a ketogenic or a high fat carnivore ketogenic protocol would be the same, um, would be the same, if not even, and better than just straight out fasting if you're trying to balance your insulin and your blood sugar. Okay, so I hope we see a little thunder tonight. <laughs> I'm surprised. You know, I've done everything to try to block my door so he can't. Ah, oh, hey, Stacy from New Zealand. God, New Zealand's so beautiful. I almost went there when I was in Australia. Um, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yes, everyone, please like up this, this stream. Thank you, Daniel. I'm just going through some of the comments. We get to some questions. Um, I'm decreasing the coffee bean every day so I can stop drinking it without withdrawals. I'm down to 10 beans. So ALH, you could actually um, take... A, I'm not a big supplement pusher, but something for the short term, which is um, a DLPA in caps or otherwise L dash tyrosine, T Y R S I N E, T Y R O S I N E, L tyrosine. Now, people who have a coffee addiction, it says it, it stops the extreme vasoconstriction and also complete lethargy from getting off coffee. So, everyone says it works great that's what I say is a solution but you need to kind of get it you need to get off that stuff even the decaf also super high protein meals people eat before these fasts oh that's a really good point that people are eating but people are doing one meal a day and binging like people are developing binge orders disorders and they're like oh but I'm not even hungry but then they don't realize that the second that they put something on their tongue the hypothalamus pituitary whole freaking like binge thing they just can eat 16 ounce steak like right there it's right there it's insane the eating disorders that come from fasting or doing OMAD and one meal a day where people just binge on protein or they'll eat a lot of protein before it's insane maybe off subject but while your body's adapting will periods get easier on the body my cycle is killing me been keeping within the guidelines and blood sugar is stabilized. Thank you. I thought your periods were getting better, Becky. So, okay. If you have fibroids and a fibroid that is pushing on a nerve, you won't see immediate relief from a keto or carnivore protocol. No. You and you have to balance your hormones and you have to balance and you have good liver function to get rid of the painful periods and also try to dis decrease the size of the fibroids if you have them. So I can't remember if you had fibroids or not, but if you're having painful periods, uh, my guess is. I don't know, I gotta make sure that you're in ketosis, your blood sugar's not too high, it's not rebounding. 12 hour fast while resting. Keto has helped me drop 33 pounds since January. So what I love about Courtney Tyree, Tyree Jones's comment, listen, he said 12 hour fast while resting. Now does that mean, you mean while sleeping? So you can fast when you sleep. You don't need to fast extended post wake up because as soon as you wake up, the hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis will say eat something so we don't go into hypercortisol breaking down amino acids. So be very careful, you guys. Do they do believe fasting is good? It makes me so sad all day on my feet her I guess YouTube feeds or Instagram or something that that's all everyone talks about they all need your channel and it will make it'll make sense Steph has the golden ticket thank you Danielle appreciate that um, been carnivore for eight months fracked up my system and trying to revert to keto 
here's another thing where all these gurus who push carnivore, they'll never tell you that you have any potential to get injured or hurt. It's just, they just don't think that way. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm still perplexed by it. Um, my system trying to revert to keto, but I forgot how, how to, I guess, do keto. Can you make a video going over what veggies you think would be best and how to, so, okay, I will do a video, but uh, I got to make sure that enough people would want that because I would definitely go back and say stuff I've said a lot, which is if you're going to do keto, it has to be high fat. I did a video last couple days ago. It was like, be careful on high fat. If you have a gallbladder problem or, you know, just be careful if you don't have enough lipase. Um, and why people, and like some people don't lose weight because their um, uh, blood sugar is too high. But if you're going to do keto and you don't have a reaction to cruciferous vegetables and you don't have a goiter or something like that, then you'd have cooked cruciferous vegetables. It's broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Uh, if you can tolerate avocado and then you would do fatty meats and you know what the fatty meats are, beef, lamb, chicken, dark chicken meat, pork, egg yolks, especially eggs, but egg yolks. Uh, fatty fishes, um, and then animal fat up to 200 grams, and that's like the short of it. Uh, thank you, Stephanie, for being here. You are cleaning up a lot of people's messes. Absolutely love your live chats, and totally here for all your question and questions and answering. I'm learning so much. Thank you. And you know, and I really appreciate that, Danielle, because you know it's not everybody on the replays. Like three days later, somebody's complaining, like, "Oh my God, you're mess." You're all over the place. So if you would just go and put a whiteboard behind you and then number it from 1 to 50, then I, you know, you wouldn't look like an idiot. But that's not me. I do things on the fly because I don't have time for that. So people don't like that I'm all over the place. I'm actually all over because I'm answering people's questions. Sometimes I'll tell a Steph, Steph story in between. And sometimes I'll answer the door to my horse. I wonder if he's out there. He's probably not. If I, if I answer the door, he's not there, he will come to the door. How about better fasting as Dr. Bright's one? Okay, so here's here's another thing. I don't know who this Dr. Bright's. There's some new women who've come out and some people who are in the keto carnivore sphere. And it's embarrassing. I don't know who this is. If you have, I just said in the beginning, now I'm not yelling at you, these people. If you, if you watch my beginning of my video, a lot of you guys have histamine to the proteins left in the butter. So if you've got histamine and somebody's telling you to do a butter fasting, how dumb is that? Where are you going to get your electrolytes while doing butter fasting? No. No. That's a no. Especially when so many people have sensitivities to butter. No, please don't do that. Please don't do butter fast. Please don't. That's just stupid. You know, somebody like me who's working out, I need protein. Where am I going to get my protein when I'm just eating a bunch of fat every day for three days? No. Or one to three days. Um, can we correct hypoglycemia? Oh, my God, yes. On, on, or will it have to, will I have to transition? No. Isabella, you don't have to transition to low-carb, high fat. But if you can't get your stress down, if you can't diaphragmatic breathe and meditate and learn how to develop muscle to uptake glucose, it will be difficult. you got to get that stress down. You know, you got to get rid of, like, like technology. you got to do a lot of grounding. you got to put your feet in the dirt, follow a circadian. I mean, but yes, you can. You can to make it short. Do you think the 2K can help with histamine? No. What do you think of supplementing? No, don't. No. I haven't heard 2K clear up histamine. Rotation of food. Find out what your high histamine foods are and lessen them or get them out. Rotate your meat, get sleep, be in ketosis, you know, love yourself, and this will seal the gut wall. I know that sounds really cheesy. Balance your electrolytes, learn how to breathe properly, get your posture in order. Like there's all these little moving parts that heals it. I don't think that Tutka would. I don't think so. I believe anything mad, made, sorry, mad, made, made, mad, made at home is better because you know what's in the ingredients. I agree. Is fasting, uh, fasting is not good for the body, your opinion on people doing it for religious reasons. Same thing, you know, but I don't know. I just watched 1899. Sometimes it feels like we're living in a simulation. It just does. 
if I was super religious, I would not mess with my body. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. I would never do that. I always will love thyself first before anything or anyone. You have to, you can't take care of anyone else if you don't love yourself. Uh, I just, you know, I know it's for religious reasons, but does it jack your body up? I have worked with so many people uh, who are fasting for religious reasons. It's insane, like a lot. And it's a problem. It's a problem. Somebody said, oh, my homemade butter better than store-bought. Uh, on, like, a level you don't even know. Steph, I love you. You're like, I would be, like, if I would be, if I had YouTube channel all over the place, LOL. You're helping so many people, and you go through all the questions. Who the F else does that? Nobody. I didn't know. You know, when I first was doing YouTube videos and I had a Facebook page and people would ask questions and I could sit there for two hours answering and I finally told myself you know you don't have to answer everybody's questions Stephanie this is how I am in real life if you call me I'm gonna call you back okay I I'm not playing no game if I say I'm gonna be there I'm gonna be there I freaking will have an emotional breakdown if I say I'm gonna do something for someone and I don't do it, I can't live with myself. So as much of a pain in the ass I can be, I am your ride or die friend. I am there, solid, through thick and thin. If I have to go five hours and drive you and pick you up in the middle of nowhere, I'm getting in my car right now. That's the kind of person I am and so that's the reason why I answer the questions. I would want my, my uh, question answered. Uh, Daniel says, Steph, you have the most beautiful smile. I love your light, smoky wing. <laughs> what? What? My light, smoky wing, and perfect glossy lips. Perfection, natural beauty. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I think also um, me leaving L.A. around all that fakery and plastic surgery, I feel that the connection to myself and to things that are, that are the most important has now entered my stratosphere. And I think that plays a really big role. And when you guys are trying to improve your health, right? Like I'm the kind of person that's like, if I want abs, I'm gonna get abs. You know, if I want muscle, I'm gonna get muscle. Like, I'm gonna get it. I don't even care if I'm going through perimenopause right now, I'm gonna get it, period. And um, I'm not afraid of being menopausal at all. Well, menopausal would be the symptoms, but I'm not afraid of being post-menopause and having my period completely stop, ovary stop working, because I'm all about protecting my adrenal system because the adrenals still produce 50% of your hormones. And that's why you can see some women who are post-menopause or even men who've gone through menopause continue to get enough hormone to keep muscle. It's incredible. Incredible. It's like a biohack that I wish you guys would tap into. Stop fussing with freaking weight loss. It really drives me nuts. Everybody's obsessed with weight loss and start focusing on getting strong. Like people don't sit right. They don't stand right. They don't walk right. They don't pick up things the right way. They don't know how to use their core. Like they're weak in the core. And then they don't mind their blood sugar and they've got their TV in their bedroom and they're on their phone all day long. So if you can start connecting more with nature, like my nails are so gross right now. They're so dirty right now. They're so gross because, I mean, I was out today like five hours just working, cleaning up horse crap and mulching my land and taking creek gravel and pulling this cart up a hill and putting creek gravel on my driveway and doing it all myself and then like riding my horse and then he rolled and then he smelled like cat piss and I was like what why is what what did he rolling and I'm like washing him scrubbing it in his fur so thick now because it's winter and like trying to get the soap out and I come in and I'm wiped out tired that's how my voice why my voice sounds like this 
I'm literally, but I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm out there in fresh air. It's something to really consider. So I don't, all I do is do the best you can to balance your blood sugar, balance your hormones, take care of your adrenal system, eat every couple of hours, something tiny, do an egg yolk, put a piece of liver in your mouth. There's some thymus, which is fantastic, grilled or air fried. And, and keep the blood sugar stable. Because if your blood sugar, with all that I do, if I'm not drinking enough water and eating something small, I would not look like this. Oh no. Oh no. Not gonna look like this. When I first began low carb keto in 2018, I felt muscle aches in my arms, like I had been lifting weights to failure, even though I had done nothing like that. What was that? Uh, Shari, 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 Shari? It's not Shari, because it's just one R. Shari. Uh, Watkins. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm feel, I feel I'm saying it wrong. Your name. Um, I believe that you either were not in ketosis and you were cranking out cortisol or you were uh, having a histamine response to something. Those are guesses, clearly, because I don't know you. Hope to the max is like, put me on your friend list. Come on. The better good friends, the more the better, honey. The more the better. I'm totally down. Well, guys, we're reaching uh, out over an hour live stream. And it started off talking about brown butter, but I really love to talk to my audience. Brown butter part took like five seconds. I don't care. But I also wanted to remind you to be careful on listening to people tell you that anything is easy you know like some of these like I lost all this weight just be very careful it's not that easy a lot of people have leptin resistance or they'll have insulin resistance or the doctor's numbers of insulin resistance are so stupid that people's blood sugar is still too high and they're like why aren't I losing weight my my a1c is 5.2 it can't be 5.2 to lose weight on low carb, keto or carnivore. It's gotta be lower than a five. Uh, down 30 pounds, still have about 50 to go. Whatever you do, do not fast, do not starve yourself, because you'll notice when you lose weight too quickly, your, the laxity the, in the dexterity in your skin will go away, because you're just burning. That's the thing when people are like, oh my, I gotta lose a lot, of, lost a lot of, I'm not saying this is you by the way, I'm not sure. A lot of people lose weight quickly and they're like, my skin is just like all like deflated freaking balloon or Sharpe. Can I fix this? And I'm like, this is the problem. When you lose weight too quickly, you're going into glucoconeogenesis and your body is eating through skin, bone, collagen, and muscle too fast. Be careful. So just don't lose weight too quickly. And Courtney, thank you, who says, keep up the great work. Thank you so much for donating, donating to the Super Chat. I think, oh my, uh, you can donate, you guys, if you want to donate, because YouTube takes like 30%, you can go to my website and donate directly. Um, you guys know that I moved to Rowland to escape, escape the people who are just taking over and doing really bad things to the whole globe. Um, I gotta use weird, weird words to break up the algorithm. Um, and uh, I took, I got three rescues, and I want them to have the best life ever. Cause there's nothing. I just want to sit on my porch and watch them all day long, instead of watching the homeless in Hollywood, California. Uh, hey Stephanie, love your information you give. Thank you so much, Jodell. Thank you. How do you get rid of omega three deficiency? PB Muster has been a while. We mean. I don't know why you are ticking with a deficiency. You didn't say I'm trying to consume foods with omega threes, but I won't absorb them. So I need a little bit more. Need to know a little bit more detail. Set up Cash App also. That way you can get uh, get tall funds. Second person who keeps telling me to get Cash App. I gotta write it down. I'll never forget. I'll never remember. I gotta research. I gotta talk to my web guy. 
Okay, let's see here. Also, I have to start working on my meal plans. Um, I'm almost there. I'm going to sit down. Yes, you deleted PayPal. Pale? Did you mean PayPal? I know, you guys, ALH. And it sucks. Like, I'm going to, I got to get this going soon. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. I swear I feel like I'm in a simulation. I got to delete this app. Not delete the app. I got to, no, I'm not going to delete it yet. I'm going to start with having two and then get rid of two and then get rid of that one and then have one that's more safe. That isn't going to tell you what you can say or whatever. What you can say or what you can do or they're going to take your cheddar cheese out your account. I would buy a meal plan for sure. Yeah, I'm going to update them all. The old ones are still really good, guys. Like, for those who are just starting, you need to know the macros. They're great. But there are some histamine foods there um, that I will no longer... I don't push... Um, well, I don't push... Well, no, they're not histamine foods there. But you could have... I think Thunder's at the front door. This is a good time to end. Thunder! And I mean down under. Okay, one step at a time stuff. Please don't get overwhelmed. Place yourself. Please don't burn out. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm feeling, I am feeling tired. But my brain is on fire. Like, I'm feeling so alive and so excited that I kind of, like, want to start working on the meal plans tonight. But I probably should just watch a movie because I never not do something. Like, I never watch a movie. Like, I'll, I'll put on five minutes at a time and it'll take me three months to watch something. I think Thunder's at the front door. Let's go check. Let's see. I hate to. Sh I never like to show my RV when it's not completely cleaned up, because I'm quite a clean person. But I just came inside and went live. Thank you, Anna. Let's go see the animals. Don't forget to like up the stream, guys. Even people on the replay. And uh, thank you. Energy, 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 energy. Fifty-five, yo. Almost sixteen years and counting doing keto. I freaking love it best the best you don't have to do keto i coach low carb high fat and keto or um high fat carnivore and i teach you guys how to flip between all three so you don't stay on one unless it's keto um or how to get off the standard american diet i'm strict keto since 2011 six weeks off of dairy insane inches off my belly inflammation markers all down oh that's awesome um never tried coming off of dairy in my life you don't well uh, um well, I, was, I wasn't saying coming off dairy. I was saying, like, if you have a histamine reaction to butter. If you're doing milk, and uh, when, here, just be careful. Be careful. People are like, I'm amazing. Like, everything's wonderful. Well, go live with me. Let me let me interview you. Right? Let me interview you. And then we'll decide. <laughs> but I'm glad you're doing better. I'm glad you're doing better, for sure. Energy. Just relax. You deserve it. Okay, let's go see if Thunder's outside. It was warm today, but I know it's going to drop down to the 20s. It was like, this weather is weird. It could be almost 70 degrees, and then at nighttime, it's like 20-something. I love spicy lady who isn't afraid to say it all. Yeah, I, I y'all know I got a big mouth. Let's go see. Okay, let me go put you guys here so you can look at my zipper. Let's see if Thunder's outside. I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, he's not. Bye bye. Oh, it's, it's cold. There he is. Come on, boo boo. Come say hello. Come say hello, bye bye. Look, here he comes. Don't tell me your horse. I'll whistle from three miles away. This horse is going to come. What's up, my cutie pie? My handsome baby. Look at you. All spotty looking. Hi, Bubba. You say, yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah. You my baby? Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. Bubba, can you go side? Oh, yeah? Can you go side? Oh, side. Oh! Come here. Come here, Bubs. It's cold as shite outside. Oh, my God. You're so cute. Oh, here comes our little monsters. You want some candy? Trick or treat. You guys want some candy? 
Trick or treat. Smell my feet. I swear it feels like... <laughs> Here you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that yummy? You're so polite to shut your mouth when you chew, Bubba. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, look at that little donkey. And that little mini pony. He's a monster. He a little mini pony, huh? Oh, don't you climb up there. Here you go. Here you go. And here you go. Does that freeze my ass off? Yes. So these are my rescues, guys. My little pony's got one eyeball because he was mistreated. And he developed navicular and was crippled when I got him. And now he's good, but he's kind of fat. Because he won't stop eating. And there's my rescue, my wild donkey, who's now getting domesticated. Here you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Who needs a man when you got thunder? Here you go. Trick or treat. Okay, that's it. No more. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye, guys. Don't you try to climb up there, Luca. No. Uh-uh. No, Luca. Break your leg. Oh, it's cold. Woo. All right, guys, thank you. I can't believe 133 people stuck around for that crap. <laughs> you guys, you don't have to stick around for the way I talk to my stupid animals. Oh, but I love them so much. <laughs> oh, you see Thunder. That horse is like, I, I don't know. Like, you know, I keep watching documentaries on certain animals that like, are super smart and super connected like if anything happened to me that horse would probably go into a state of complete depression <laughs> we love it so those are my fur babies if you guys want to donate you can go and go to my website and there's a donation button there's not a donation page I'm working on it um, but I moved to raw land and I've never e-bagged until now because I don't care I don't care I'll e-bag for them um, they've changed my life. I come from Hollywood. Like, oh my God, so fabulous. Let's do brunch. I came from that to a shite town in the middle of nowhere. Like, stuff has changed. Maybe that's why I'm looking so young at 55. What? Mmm. Thank you, Danielle. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate everybody who stayed. All these 34 people who stayed watching me give, like, treats to my horses. Now that's some love. I really appreciate you guys. On a Saturday night. It's a Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. Or something like that. Uh, thank you, Danielle. Alright, guys. Have a wonderful evening. I told myself I was going to relax and not go live, but I went in live anyway. And it's, what, 7 o'clock? Okay, so we're good. It's only 7. Oh, I'm going to relax because I can hear my voice going from talking and talking and talking. If you guys want to join my course, go to stephanieperson.com where I cover all three diets. stephanieperson.com. I'll put it in the show notes below. Uh, you can book a consultation through stephanieperson.com. Uh, it's after one here in Ireland. I love Ireland. Or you can go to... Uh, oh, i got to turn these heaters off. Oh, my God. Oh. Um, or you can go to my Instagram, which is stephaniketogenic. And, um, and, and see all the information there. Like I do stuff in my stories every day or my Facebook, which is Stephanie, the business person. And I'm out. we got more to come people. Steph's going to show you all kind of stuff. I cannot wait. We're going to get our health back. We're going to get it back. Thanks guys. Thanks everyone for sticking around for that whole freaking time. Thank you. Bye. And I'm out. Peace. Energy 55.